Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy. So today we're going to be checking out another Maxim Patty. If you haven't been to my channel before, I have reacted to a couple of clips of Peter K's stand-up and I really enjoyed watching him. And then I've watched a skit or two, like the bread and pride and prejudice. That was funny. And then the last few weeks when I've been watching Peter K, I've been watching something from him about once a week. I've been watching the Max and Patties. They're a lot of fun. And so I'm excited to be checking out another one. This is Max and Patties, The Power of Two. I'm excited. So without further ado, here we go. Oh, she's up. It's quiet. Morning. Would madam like a sausage or three? She would, you cheeky sailor. Oh. Sausage? Yeah. Look at those. It's a lot oh. of... Hey, Papers? you can't whack it, Maxwell. We got here. We can whack it out with Beverly Callard. That's not right. It's supposed to be flubber. It is. Stick it in. Let's have a laugh. Here we go. I watch a workout video. Beautiful. All right. I like his eye mask. Give me your body, and I'll transform it. You don't believe me, but it's true. Like a ginger Brian May. Like a what? That's not a workout, that, all that namby pamby dancing. She wants to try crawling through her own shit with scud missiles whistling past her ears. Bloody yeah. hell, if I made one of these, I'd make a fortune and all. It's not a bad idea, that, you know. That's Eiffel 65 playing dun 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 dun. Or no, 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 no. That's Alex F. Well, Sorry. We could do that, make one of these videos. Who? Who? Oh, me and thee. A fitness DVD. You're yeah. army training. I used to teach them classes down gym. We'd clean up, Max. Yeah, who'd, who'd buy it? We're not celebrities. Celebrity? No. You don't have to be a celebrity these days. Look at Wayne Rooney's missus. Oh, you're not wrong. Yeah, that's what they need. A proper workout. That's what they get and all. Bit of army discipline. Yeah, oh, we'd give them a workout. Dorman style. Eh, once fit, always fit. You're right, and you could do mm -hmm. me getting a bit off and all. How dare you? I'm fitter than you'll ever bloody be. All I'd be doing is putting a bit of fine tuning on it. Luke, we could both do with losing a bit. Get rid of some of that and get some of that. They're going to make a fitness movie. When I was a kid, those were pretty. I don't, I don't know if those things. I'm sure that there are still those things, but I know a lot of people use apps and such now. But when I was a kid, we didn't have cable. Um, for the most part, but there were one or two times where we had cable for a little bit, and uh, I remember those fitness things were on. We had a VHS copy of Sweating, Sweating, to the Oldies, uh, that we worked out to, um, which you don't care about. And a Jane Fonda, I think, but I love that those fitness things that kind of take me back in my mind to a long time ago. Ah! This is the power of two. Finally, a workout for ordinary people like us, overweight and underpaid. <laughs> Whoever you are and whatever you do, getting fit is up to you. With Max and Paddy's power of two, it's for everybody's body. I like how showing them with different groups working out, you know? Oh, again! Oh, again! Hey! Oh, again! Hey! And again! Is that hey! possible? That'll do! Thank you! <laughs> I'm Max! And I'm oh, the Paddy, shorts. And this is the, the power of two! Oh. <laughs> OK, here's the script. We've put together this fitness routine for two reasons. One, money. And two, because it's finally going to be a workout for everybody's body. Okay. That's right. An extraordinary workout for ordinary people like yourselves. OK, now let's say hello to our Power of Two team, Team Power. Team Power. In you come. In you come. Come on. PO2. I, as no, you can it. clearly see, there's nothing special about this lot. Just ordinary people like you and me. Say hello, Team Power. Hello. Say hello individually. First of all, he said there's nothing special about this lot, the group. Kind of nice, kind of mean. Um, 
or not very nice is what I meant to say. And everybody has the white shirt that says Power of Two, except for one man back there. He's got a black shirt that says Tina or something. I'm a bit of manners. Hello, I'm Sue. Hello, I'm Valerie. Hi. Hello, I'm Sandra. Hi. Hello, I'm Jackie. Hi. Glenn. Glenn. Old army buddy. Mates of mine. Burroughs. Where's his T-shirt? Was Peter Kay in the army? Well, that's Tina. And let's Tina. welcome our special <laughs> Power of Two physical fitness consultants from DD Productions, Candice and Roxy. Candice and Roxy. Oh, hello. Oh, he's hello. excited. What's all that about? Okay, let's work that body. Just keep nice and flat, lying on your stomach. And relax. Staying on your stomachs. We're going to do a little stretch for our back. Put your hands by your sides. And just arch your back up. Get your hips on the floor as you do this. That's it. Only natural, Max. You want to have a bit of manners, love? What's your name? Valerie. I'm really sorry. Are you some? Are you some kind of a pig? No. I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. Of a class full of pigs. Oh, and I. Uh, like I said, here's another alternative stretch. Everybody farts. Still on the hamstrings. You're going to put your knee over your partner's leg. Grab hold of the opposite foot. Put it on your shoulder. Keep this leg nice and straight, supporting the knee, and just give a little push forward. I bet you've been in this position before, haven't you, little minx, eh? Look at them. It's like stroking a red setter's tummy. How are you going on, Max? Not good, Patrick! Christ, you've let yourself go, Glenn. It's like milking a bull! Dang, do! Ding, dang, do! Come on, cat, here you go! Ding, dang, do! Ding, dang, do! Come on, Valerie! Ding, dang, do! Do that fat burning! Ding, dang, do! Valerie's not impressed. Then party rings. Five. Six. Reach for that right meter, Valerie. Come Reach and jammy dodgers. Reach for the what? It's no good looking round while the book stops here. She looks really uh, irritated, but I don't know what he said to her, but I don't think it was a very nice thing. It's too late now. Da -da -da -da. You've only got yourself to blame. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Four. Oh. And uh, 16 of these. 16. Four. <laughs> that girl's like. Five. This is. Six. Nine. Seven. Difficult. All right, Valerie, come on. Bet you wish you were my bollocks at the end of your knee, eh? Yeah. So, Mother, you feel strong, huh? Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> Seven. I'm going to change now. Eight. One, two, three, and go. One, two, three. Even though Bloody what they're body. doing isn't... I think I just saw one of all these rings. See, he's been poking at her. He's been saying things getting under her skin. I feel you, Valerie. I feel you. Uh, even though the things that they're showing aren't overly complicated or in and of themselves difficult, you do anything long enough, your body will get tired. Tired. Goodness. Sore. Bloody hell, body. I think I just saw one of all these rings. Piss off! Oh, God! I kind of brought it on. Get up, Max. Stop messing about, me. sir. I like Valerie. Do you want to find your little What? Two more. It's a workout. Mm -hmm. One more. A little warning. How much? If you're doing this at home, don't wear jewelry. It's passing up four inch sovereigns like Valerie. You've been busted out of there, love. <laughs> I don't think you've noticed, but Valerie's <laughs> box is empty. She's not here. She's gone. I won't stand for it. Right? I'm trying to do the woman a favour. She didn't rip my friggin' eye out. You look up with the same. You want to put your ideas up. <laughs> I'll max his count. For five. Seven. No! They're holding what looks like adult toys. So they sent Valerie home for punching him. I guess I understand that because she punched. And that could be argued as unprovoked because there is no physical contact to her. But 
you know, you'd be mean to somebody long enough. Gonna, gonna get to that point. Anyway, sorry. 16 of these. Christ, Dougie, these second none. They do stink, don't they? Mine smells of strawberries. Mine doesn't, Max. Too slow, <laughs> let's go! Where did they get them? Six. I don't know if you've noticed, but Candice and Roxy are using two dildos. Hey, what, what are you like. doing, man? You're way out, you're way out. Letting me down. Other side, come on. Shape up a shit out, Glenn. Five, six, seven, no! Yeah, whether or not you have something heavy, your arm is going to get sore eventually. Sixteen, seven, <laughs> eight. And one. They're going these slow. He's just... These clubs work all night, girls. Got these in the Falklands next to Thatcher. Fall to all over corned beef for that bitch. Something about corned beef. Come on. <laughs> I usually oh, understand so what he's saying pretty well. Take me another eye out, you daft pillock. That's the triceps over. We're still sticking with the upper body with Her Majesty's press ups. Press ups? Come on, Paddy, we're not winding it up now. Knock it, you've done enough. Get to our old friend, Mr. Stretch. Now, if we don't visit Mr. Stretch, then we can expect a visit from Mr. Stiff. And nobody wants a visit from Mr. Stiff, do they? Candice might later. Okay, now Mr. Stretch will always be there for us. At the beginning and the end of every worker. Yeah. He'll never leave you. He'll never leave you stranded in the shit. Like Glenn. Will he, Glenn, eh? Oh no. Stranded. Like I was in Port Stanley in 82. On my own. Playing up scotch while our minds in the piss train with the enemy laughing. But I weren't fucking laughing, were I, Glenn? Oh no. Where are the armored cars? Where were the backup? Uh, where were you, Glenn? I had no choice. You had choices. There's always choices. You let me down. You let the regiment down. This went way off of. <laughs> he cries at night, that lad. Glenn. Pick him up. I rang a takeaway last night. I said, dear deliver. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that was. I love watching Max and Patty because it feels like. It's lighthearted fun, you know. There's been some, you know, arguably adult things integrated into it, but you know, what, what can you expect from the minds of men? Ha ha ha! Don't get offended. Um, I liked the the chemistry between them and some of the people that were there, like Valerie having him kind of pick at her and then her punch him. I don't know if that was acted or not. I would assume that that was written into the script, but I really liked that aspect of this clip, skit, whatever. And then at the end when he went off on Glenn for something personal from the past, that's what one of the things that makes me enjoy Max and Patty so much is those extra and then just, I, I don't know, I don't know, realistic like people, everyday people, but still funny and a lot of fun to watch. I enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite clips are from Max and Patty. And if I haven't watched them already, I will add them to my list. Thank you for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.